What's up guys? Dave here, JDH Reptiles. Today we're going to talk about photos. And I'm not the person who should really be giving this video, uh, but it needs to be said. So stay tuned and watch a little bit of what I got to say about taking good photos when you're posting on social media or try to sell animals or whatever it may be. Um, I will say, I'm gonna leave a link down below to Dave Visser's uh, YouTube channel. This guy does amazing videos. Uh, he has amazing camera work skills. Um, so definitely check him out, give him a follow, subscribe to his page, whatever you think. He also has ball python videos and rat videos, etc., etc. But the guy does some really sweet stuff with photography. Um, but anyways, I see a lot of people posting animals for sale, posting animals on Morph Market, uh, or just showing off their animal in general. We have a Facebook page. It's called The Python's Clutch. Please feel free to join that page. Every, Typically, every day I set up a daily gene. So like today, I believe is Pied. And you could post up your animals and show them off and whatnot. And not all photos have to be great. Again, I don't take amazing photos, but I take clear photos. I take really good photos. Um, I feel I take very good photos for just what they are. We're just trying to get a photo of the animal. And I don't doctor any of my photos. I know some people do, and that's fine too. But I see so many people taking photos uh, that just don't do the animal any justice it doesn't do their setup any justice etc so I'm gonna show you a couple things that I think will help you improve your photo game uh, let's jump into it all right guys so for today's video I'm gonna use a couple animals to help show you what I'm saying now first of all this is not a good setup uh, a lot of people have mentioned my cart before it's not dirty guys it's stained I mean there are some dirt here I did not wash it down but for the majority like this stuff is all just stains so and it's not going to come clean I might be able to bleach it but anyways so here is our beautiful orange dream Lori uh, by the way this girl is available if you're interested moving back to the video though setting this animal here and taking a photo I'm not going to do anything I'm not going to do any justice okay so you have to think of the animal itself. Dark animal will probably look really good on a light background. Uh, a light animal might look good contrasted on a, a dark background. So this being a darker animal, I have two different options here. One, I can use this. This is like a poster board. I got it at my local department store. I think it costs like two or three bucks, okay? So I can take this, can grab my animal, and now that dark animal brightens up instantly just from the white background, okay? Now, if I take this animal, and let's try this, which this is a piece of tile, a piece of linoleum that I got from Lowe's. Again, I think this was a two foot by two foot sheet and it cost me a dollar. So I put set animal here. Still doesn't look bad. Obviously, when I cut the photo out, I would frame it around the animal so this white board wouldn't be here. But still doesn't look bad. Okay. Now, if you have a logo or something, you can put the logo in your photo when you're done with it. If you want to use a sticker, you could put the sticker next to your animal, you know, something like that. That's all acceptable. Obviously, if you're trying to sell an animal, you'd like to have your, not only for copyright reasons, so you don't want people stealing your photos, but you want your name, obviously, put in the photo. So, this is one way to do it. Um, the biggest thing to remember here is lighting. We have LED lighting in this room. Again, I would highly recommend like one of those ring lights. I think they help to really bring the, the spectrum of the light down on the animal really well. Uh, if you have a photo box, that's fine too. But this is a very cheap, inexpensive way. And 
this here is key. You don't have to spend $2,000 on a camera. Granted, these are like $2,000. But your cell phone is, has an amazing camera on it. Use it to your best abilities. Okay? So, here's the animal. Boom. And I'm going to take a couple photos of this animal, and I'm going to post them right here for you. All right, guys, so now we're going to do the same thing with a nice, bright animal like this dream sickle. So, as you can see on a white background, it's completely bled out. You could take the photo, you could enhance it, you could do all that stuff if you're good at doing that. Or, this is where the dark stuff comes in. Now, lighting is key here because, as you can see, the animal is still still pretty washed out not super washed out but definitely washed out so we're going to zoom in so we just get the darkness here now here's what i'm going to do i'm going to take my light in my room and i'm going to tilt it away a little bit that is a really good representation of this animal it's dark it's rich the oranges are popping that is what you want to see. Now, if I move the lighting, but on the white, it's still not as nice. We go back to the color. Instantly, you can tell the difference. So, guys, you don't really have to spend a lot of money on photos. You don't have to worry about trying to doctor everything up. It really comes down to the background and the lighting, more than anything. And in my opinion, it's really hard to go against the fact that this cheap board, this two, three dollar board, and your cell phone, which you already have, is all you need. If you really want to show these beautiful animals off, just take a moment, pull them out of their enclosure. I mean, it takes me 10 seconds to get prepared for this. I put whatever color board up that I'm going to use for depending on the animal, and then I take my photo, and all I do is crop it. I don't change the colors, I don't edit them nothing so i brought this up today guys not because i feel my photos are superior not because i feel like my videos are great because i've made it very clear in the past and i'll do it again today these videos especially i do very little editing as far as cutting and pasting it together that's really it i know my backgrounds don't look great i know sometimes i have dark bars in it but when i look at the photos online i think to myself man if you just spent an extra two minutes to take a better photo, the animal would probably not only look better, it would sh it represent you a little bit better, represent what you are doing for uh, your collection better. But if you're trying to sell it, it would probably help sell the animal a little easier too. I use the same technique when it comes to selling cars. Um, I've been in the automotive industry for 27 years and I still will buy and sell cars from time to time. And that's one of the big things I do is not only do I make sure that, you know, I purchase the car and it's, you know, a safe vehicle to sell and it's in good condition, but I take, I wash it and then I go to a neutral place that I think has a very clean, clear background. And I just take some nice, clean, bright photos. Make sure as though, you know, crap, I don't know how many times you go on marketplace on Facebook and the photos are dark. You can't really see anything or they're covered in snow or they didn't wash them beforehand. Same thing with your animals. Take a couple minutes, make sure the animal isn't in shed, make sure the animal is in good shape, you know, looks good, and then just put them on a background that works well with them. Take a moment, make sure your lighting's right. If not, you could buy a ring light for like 20 bucks now on Amazon. They're super cheap. And then you can drop that down on top of the animal, take a couple photos, and all you gotta do is crop them, and you're done. It's really that simple. They don't have to be you know, super exuberant. But again, I'll have a link down below to our Facebook page. Go on there, join the page. You'll see the daily post. Just take a moment and look at some of the photos. You can tell who really wants to take the time to make their animals look good and who's just throwing up random images. And that's fine, you can continue to do that. But really, it says a lot, not only about the hard work you put into your animals and to your craft here, uh, but a little bit about yourself as well. So 
posting clean, clear pictures is very easy. You just have to want to do it. That's really it. Uh, but that's it. I'm not going to beat a dead horse. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, hell, hit the like button anyways to help me out. Or leave your comments down below. Again, I'm not a big photo editor. I'm not good at all that shit. But I get the general purpose. I think there's a lot of people out there that just don't or they don't think it matters. Trust me, it does matter. And I think everybody else will tell you it matters. So take care, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're shooting for 4,000 this year. So let's try and make that happen. Hit the subscribe button. It's free for you. It helps me out. And we'll talk to you on the next video.